I think the key for me, and it's a key that I don't, I mean, I don't have the answer. It's a struggle every day to remind myself. That the key for me, I believe, is life, the purpose of life is not things, it's people. Mm-hmm. Right? How or what can I have or do to impact the most people in a positive way? Absolutely. So if the most people I can impact is by having a huge penthouse, then that's what I'm going to thrive for. Gotcha. But if I realize that huge penthouse is not going to give me the ability to influence people more positively, yeah. then I don't want it. You know, that's like um, like how rappers now talk about how you know, they, they try to motivate the young people mm-hmm. by the Lamborghinis and the car or in the houses and the jewelry, right? Um, I don't know how I feel about that because, yeah, yeah, because it's almost like you're using that as an excuse to validate you just spending a lot of money because, sure, uh, part of that can be to motivate yeah. you, but your initial, at least me personally, I could be wrong. You know, I could definitely be wrong, so I'm very aware of that. I just feel like your initial reason for getting that isn't to motivate, it's but it's to satisfy some pleasure mm-hmm. in you. You just are allowed to use, you know, the, oh, I just want to motivate the youth by using that excuse in a way, you get me? So how how are we going to evolve, right? Let's say in, in our state where we're at, evolve by just wanting all these material things and all of these goals, do we really become better people? Do we really impact at the end of the day? That depends where you make your goal to be. If you make your goal to be, I want to impact people in a positive way, then you approach every day, every moment, every second of your day in a way that you think, how can I impact people in a more positive way? You know, and um, and when you, to touch base on what you said about you know buying the big car and whatever, I think we're hypocrites mm-hmm. because if we were not, if I only have ten bucks, if I really want to help people, I can do a lot with ten bucks. Mm-hmm. I don't have to wait till I have a million dollars in a Lamborghini to impact to people impact positively. People for sure. Absolutely. So I think there's a lot of hypocrisy in each one of us in the sense that we always say we want to want to impact people. Mm-hmm. Why not start with the one or two people that you have around you? Why not start with your brother or your sister, with your mom or your dad? Because impact people doesn't. This, we always assume like we need a big platform. We don't. If we if we make the mindset that every person is valuable, then we take every approach to make an impact. Definitely. You know that 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 comes a lot from when we don't really mean it. Yeah. You know, it just sounds politically correct. Exactly. And just like you said, we're hypocrites because a lot of people talk a big game. They don't do shit about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you know? Um, A lot of people don't really want it. Like, like, you talk to people and you know, they start a business and one thing they don't want to admit is that, oh, they're in it to make money. Some people are, some people don't. Some people like to give the BS, you know, run around. Mm -hmm. I think that's important that you understand that, that I think what you said is absolutely perfect is impact. I think it matters more like I, like I told you before, if you worry more about the funeral than you do the bank account, For right? For sure. Now, Gary Vee said this, and when I heard this, it impacted me the most. Because I thought about it, I was like, wait, what? He's like, when you worry more about how many people are going to attend your funeral, right? Then you do worrying about how much money is in your bank account. The effects of your life. end up You end up having money in your bank account yeah. anyways, mm-hmm. you get me? Because... You need to take care of people. That's why it's value, 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 then take. You get me? You can you can give somebody so much value, so much value, so much value. You don't need to ask anybody to buy your thing. Mm-hmm. When you put it out there, they're going to buy it. Because they support gonna, you. Exactly. Because yeah. they support you. They support what, you, what you're doing, what you stand for. You mm-hmm. get me? So that that's something that a lot of people don't really think about. A lot of people are on the BS, the... The, oh, I want to do this to help people. Like, you need to really evaluate who you are and say, what well, are you doing something for? Like, what do you really want to do? Yeah, and I think, it, it, you know, most of us, if we're honest, the end result, that way of thinking, we're going to realize that money is our master. Mm-hmm. Right? Maybe not a bank account, but the things money buys. So money becomes a driving force. Money becomes what we dream about, what we think about what we idolize, you know, what we, what we 
Because essentially it's not the money that we want. So yeah, the 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 money. yeah but, money but it all comes down to money because you don't have money, you don't have the things, right? So the money becomes our master and, and that be creating us a selfishness that blinds us. Mm -hmm. Because we no longer see people as purpose, we see people as tools. Mm, right. Right? Whether that is in a business, mm -hmm. whether that is through YouTube, or whether that is in any aspect of our lives, is how can I take advantage of my situation with my people? Instead of how can I become an impact?